Hi everybody, welcome back to another tutorial for the Balloons Online Design Tool. Um, this one we're going to just go through a couple of little things, uh, especially the columns and arches. I've had a lot of inquiries as to how to visually create using the column and arch uh, component to the tool. And I understand it is a little bit complicated um, because you there's, there's two sections. There's a calculator and then there's a design component to it. So we're going to walk through both of those. So firstly, don't forget the address balloontools.com.au. You're going to need to log in before you can um, access any of the information. And if you haven't logged in, um, you'll see that there's a seven day free trial or you can um, uh, sign up for $10 Australian per month. So if you're from the US, that's like $5.50 or $6 a month. Our currency is going down and down um, how, or it's $100 Australian a year. So it's even less you get two months free. Unless, of course, you're from New Zealand, which I apologize, it might be about 11 or $12 New Zealand. So, all right, once we've subscribed, uh, then we can access any of the links from the homepage, which takes us to different parts of the tool. Now, I should add as well, from that homepage, it doesn't take you to um, everywhere that we've got, it says, you know, column calculator, quick link designer, a few little things, including the video tutorials, also link to the, um, the paid video, uh, and there's some free videos there too, on some of the, the how-to videos that we offer as well. So if we look at the balloon arch calculator, this takes us to the, the calculator component, the metrics where we want to create um, some information as far as stock order, and more specifically, um, uh, what sort of width and heights we can create and the uh, quantity of balloons required. So I'm just going to go through the, the arch column calculator and then we're going to look at the visual designing component to it. So with the arch uh, we've got string of pearl and we have garland. So garland of course is quads. Um, that, that's just how it's, it is by default in this system. We're looking to upgrade it into layers of five so stay tuned. Um, we've got metric and, and of course imperial. So if we had, as an example, an arch the client wanted, you know, eight feet high by 10 feet wide, it'll tell us the, the linear length, right, of that arch, and then the balloons required based on the sizes. So look, I do have another video on, on explaining this a little bit more, but just remember there's a calculator and a design aid, and the two are separate. Um, if we were to look at string of pearl, um, once again, the, the, the height, the width, and the, the distance between those balloons. Now look, this also, that there is an element, uh, a variable here. So just remember, it's a guide only, it's plus or minus 5%, so uh, be kind. Uh, but it's, you know, it's great to have some starting point for a guide. If you have an event where looking at metric, the client says the stage is you know, 10 meters wide and you know, or like, let's just say I want it four meters high by 10 meters wide. Um, the width of the balloons, the gap between the balloons, you can change and it'll tell you the, uh, the quantity and the arc length once again. All right, column, much the same. Metric, imperial, type in your numbers, layers of four. It'll uh, tell you the quantity of balloons that you require. But the thing, the question that I get asked the most is how do we actually design in arches and columns? So it's in the templates section, top left, templates link, and you drop down to select column or arch, they're the first two. So under column, we can see we have our grid or our template with um, open circles to color in. So the first thing we do is we select a color, which could be blue. And if we drag and drop or individually click, we can select all of those. Now you can block paint, which is on the left here. That was added last year, which is a drag and drop functionality. So with block painting, it's best to select the outer balloon. So in this case, bottom right, and I'll work my way up and then it'll, it should click all of the balloons within. It depends on where you release. So just to show you another example, if I start top left and go bottom right on an outer balloon, it'll select all of them at once. So bear, bear in mind, um, of course, if I'm selecting, uh, let's go back to blue, the inner pair, which is a smaller quantity, it'll just change that. So depending on the, on the first balloon you select and the last balloon you select, you can grab all of them at once, which is fantastic. So you can see as well, it's using some of the metrics from the calculator as well on the left here. So finished height, finished width based on that inflation size, 
All right, so that's wonderful to work with. Um, bear in mind, if you if you compress your column or your arch uh, or those layers a little bit more than somebody else might, those uh, there those figures might be a little bit off. But it's a great guide. So um, you know we've looked at block paint, we've looked at our different colors. So we can have you know perhaps the ability to now select single colors. Um, one thing to keep in mind, you'll see that the color count does go up. Right? See, we've got an eight. That, or that turns to a 10 when I select this balloon because the assumption is the balloon behind it is also the same color. So that can take us a little off if we're looking to create a spiral. Um, the next version of the software will actually give you the individual quad count that we can custom color for our stock list. So right now, if you were hoping that we were to have a, um, you know, a, a spiral that's a little complicated, um, so in the, the case of this uh, green balloon, depending if there's a blue or a red balloon behind it, it's gonna just assume for now it's a, it's a green balloon behind it. So it works fine for two color spirals, more than that, um, depending on your layering, it could be a little bit off. So you'll see there's heaps of blank cells down the bottom. So in this case, um, we are just gonna click this tidy up button and that's gonna remove all of the unused cells because right now in this instance, our height, we wanna continue, we wanted to finish it off at um, where it is now, which is 186 centimeters. Now, just to show you what we can do here on in, so we can print that as a guide and it's just printed it to the second page or um, we can save it in, uh, you know, as a PDF, printer, whatever printer we want. We should also be able to reduce the, um, uh, the size, so change the scale. If I had that, maybe 70%, there you go. We can fit it all in one page. Just depends on how many balloons you're using. Now, we um, often might wanna add a three foot or make some sort of edits beyond this point in which I'm gonna create a video, f video for you later in how we export our vector images from the design tool and import it into other software for editing. But we're gonna hold off on that for now because we wanna keep this click, clear and concise on just columns and arches right now. But some of the exports you can do under file. Now, my little tip here is always save the original working file before you do anything else. So just say I'll save it, you know, column, uh, whatever you want to call it, red, blue, green, whatever. Um, and now at this point, we want to export it as different things. So if I'm going to export it as a JPEG, I might want to remove the guides, which are the numbers on the left there. There are guides for each column, each uh, row. So if I'm, I'm going to remove that because I want to create a nice, clean image for my quote. So I'll save as a JPEG, um, you know, whatever the client is. Okay, whatever we want to call it. And now we've got a lovely image, which I'll bring over so you can see as a separate JPEG that can be um, added to my quote or my email or save for future reference. But it's, it's really important before you move on to anything, save this file. So if the quote gets it goes ahead, you can open it up later for other working. So that's column. Um, the exploded button just explodes it in uh, layers. It's not really appropriate or necessary for the columns. Um, we use that more for some of the other templates. All right, so now to the arch design tool. You'll notice we can't see anything right now. That's because the guides are still removed. So um, you just, just need to reactivate that. Um, so we'll select a color, whatever it's gonna be, block paint. So if I select the bottom left and I work my way out to another row to the bottom right, we can select all of them at once. And depending on the size of the arch in which I wanna create, um, we just select the uh, number of layers at this stage. We can still also add more rows. You'll see how that's getting bigger and bigger. But for most arches, so what we have colored in right now is our estimated width and height, which currently it's, it's nearly three meters by six meters, which in Imperial is nearly 12 feet by 24 feet, something about. Um, and uh, the, we, we, we just fill in the color to the dimensions that we want. So if I keep adding, you'll see how those numbers are changing. And then when we're happy with that size, so most of the time customers come to us, we, our double door size arch is about three and a half meters wide by about two and a half meters tall. So if I were to be aiming for something like that, um, let's just see how the, 
so that's uh, 2.3 let's add a little bit more all right and you see how sometimes I got to click around for, to get those numbers to repopulate so that that's about right maybe a little bit bigger okay and then I click the tidy up button so here we have the arch within the proportions that I'm looking for um, and uh, and now we can start coloring it in so I usually set one color as the foundation and then I start to overlay that with um, something else. So just to sort of look around at the tool here, if we were to have um, you know, a lilac and pink, um, I can take off block paint now, and let's look at the way we want to swirl this perhaps. Um, we'll go too deep, one, all right, one, two, and now we just follow the swirl. All right, so one, two, and I've got to concentrate here, follow the swirl. So, wonderful ways in which we can quickly fill color, just applying a little bit of thought. All right, so here we have a lovely you know, standard pink and uh, spring lilac swirl, starting from the middle, curling out on either sides. And um, we can keep our uh, guides, remove the guides, um, exploded. Once again, it just shows you layers, which isn't really helpful in this particular instance. If the client wanted to, um, have a comparison between two colors, what I'll do at this stage is I'll save it. Uh, you know, arch, uh, you know, maybe the invoice number, we do that a lot, you know, two, three, four, whatever it is, uh, could be saved as date. Make sure you have a proper filing system for this. And I can now export a JPEG and I'll call it the same, you know, invoice, whatever, quote number, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll call it, um, you know, pink, lavender, now what we can do is we can replace um, maybe the colors for something with a little bit more depth and um, you know, quite contrasting. <laughs> but uh, who knows what the client wants, maybe rose and purple, yeah, that's a little more uh, appropriate as a plan B. And I'll save it there and um, rose, lilac, okay, whatever, right? So now we can see um, by pulling that up, the quickly how I'll just load it in the folder I think I just saved it to download here we go so our pink and rose that's option A that's option B so I find this like really helpful when we're quoting uh, to clients if they're considering two color options just going back to the tool simple as clicking the replace color button and clicking a different color replace and uh, Whatever it's, you know, whatever the client's uh, comparing, it's fantastic and so so simple to just go export one, export two, and attach both of those to your quote. So look, I really hope that helps. Um, once again, we wanted to keep this short. We're just talking about arches and columns. If you have any questions at all, always hit me up on um, on Facebook, on Instagram, or uh, via YouTube. So um, uh, love to hear your thoughts, love to see the designs that you're creating and any feedback because what we're working now with this design tool being uh, monetized, um, so subscription services, I'm putting all of those funds into uh, how to add to this tool, how to add more functionality. On the top of my head is an organic calculator with auto populating based on colors at a preset uh, and that's gonna be great. It'll give us a stock order list and many other wonderful things. So stay tuned, please support the tool and have a wonderful day.